What's up, y'all? It's your boy D, and welcome back to Stand Out with D and Nicole. And it is like two o'clock in the morning, and I'm just not shooting some footage for today. Y'all probably wondering why I got this hoodie on is because Jay keeps it an ice box in the house, so it's like freezing cold in here. But yeah, y'all, how was your Tuesday? I was busy at work today, so I came home, talked with Jay for a little bit. Um, I didn't even eat nothing right away. I went to sleep without even eating anything. I just like ate a pe ate a um fried chicken leg that I just fried not too long ago, like ten minutes ago. So yeah, y'all. Sir G is home. I already picked him up. Y'all didn't see the um conversation. His conversation van ride. Um, he was going off on the van driver. They had a little incident today. Um, yeah, y'all. What y'all got going on? Me, nothing. Just smoking. Allergies still a mess. <sighs> I don't know why I'm getting allergies in the summer. Well, it's not summer just yet. But it's hot. It was like 90 degrees today. And my allergies are still jacked up. I was sneezing earlier. It's just too much. Any of you guys deal with allergies? If you do, what do you take for allergies? Do you take like Zyrtec, Claritin? I remember I used to take Claritin a long time ago when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, I used to have, oh my God, my allergies used to be off the chain. I used to have headaches so bad that I couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. It would feel like my head would weigh like, two tons it would be so bad mm. but yeah y'all i hate allergy season Ugh. that's why i can't go to the park like that because of the trees and the pollen and all that i can't even do the parks like that i have to go like in the summertime when all the pollen is gone then i don't do he extreme heat like that so I just be a mess. I just have to deal with the cool weather in the springtime and deal with my allergies or just go in the fall. Because I love cold weather. So being outside in um, the cool weather or semi-cold doesn't bother me at all. Because I don't mind cold weather at all. Um, like, I could literally live in New York and be fabulous. Because um, winter fashion, oh my God, please. You could be, oh my God, sickening. Mm. What else we gonna talk about, y'all? Uh, my birthday is coming up. It's gonna be in about two weeks. I'll be back in Atlanta. Me, Jay, Sergi. We'll be taking Sergi to Atlanta. It'll be his second time going, but his first time really just going and going with someone that's from there and know the area and know where to go and this and that. Because the time I think that he went, he was passing through and he was going to Florida. So he didn't really get a real experience of the A. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, Mother's Day is Sunday. And if you guys didn't know, I lost my mother in um, 2020. December 10th, 2020. And um, this week has been, is weighing heavy on me. May always weighs heavy on me. May weighs heavy on me. November weighs heavy on me and December. Because November is when she started to get sick. And December is when she passed. So Mother's Day is Sunday. And I don't know how I'm going to be. Last Mother's Day, um, that was the first Mother's Day without her. And I think I kept busy and tried not to think about it. But this one, I don't know. It just... It feels different the second year. 
first of all, I don't think I've fully grieved yet because it's still like a shock to me. Because me and my mom was very close. And I'm going to do a video on what her illness was and what happened and how she passed and all that another day. I don't feel like going into that tonight because I feel I might get emotional. Well, I know I get emotional, so. Um, I don't know. This Mother's Day just seemed, mm. I'm gonna be okay though. It's gonna it's gonna be all right. I don't know what I'm gonna do this summer. I'll probably go to church. I need to go to church. That'd be a good thing to do. And I may go to brunch or something like that. Call my aunts, tell them Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that watch this video. And yeah, y'all. Let me get off Mother's Day. And let's see. Let's talk about some exciting news. Um, Jay has been trying to get me and Sergi some um, bookings. Trying to get the music out there to the masses. Get people to hear it. Because working on social media is getting very hard. Trying to get people to listen to the music. Get people to follow you. If you have any suggestions or tips on how to get more followers and all that type of stuff. Leave them in the comments too. Because we were really trying to get this music out there. Because this is what me and Surgery really want to do. Like, I'm tired of going to my 9 to 5 job. I am. Like, I'm serious. I want to be an artist. I was born to be a celebrity. I'm a star. I know that. And I just need the music to get out there. The vlogging to get out there. Just, I just need the stuff to get out there. And then people... You know, we'll see what everybody else sees. That already know us already. What else I want to talk to y'all about? Uh, yeah, I was listening to some beats earlier. I got, I think I got one in mind that I want to work on. Me and Sergi still have to uh, finish up the song that we've been working on this weekend. Uh, did you guys go stream the music? You better have gone and streamed the music from watching this vlog. Like, really? Nicole decided to get it off tonight, Toxic Love and Fight Yale. You should have that in your playlist. That should be bumping in your cars right now. That should be like, you know, in the rest of your playlist with the rest of your music. Why not? They're hits. The hell? <clears throat> Um, well, I wish we could play music and stuff on here because it would be more crunk. We could listen to music and, you know, and I could just really just kick it with y'all. But I can't because of YouTube. When we get more followers and stuff and I have like a fan base and, you know, people, subscribers, uh, I don't really want to call them fan base. I'm going to just really call them my people. I get more of my people. And, um... We can, like, set up, like, a stream yard or something that we can go on to and I can be live and listen to music and not have to deal with the copyright restrictions from YouTube. Yeah. Y'all, my hair is growing. The black is coming through already. And I just dyed, not dyed my hair not too long ago. So she said I was going to be George Jefferson if I kept dying up um, blonde like this. But it doesn't seem like my hair is not coming out at all. It seems like it's making it grow more. Isn't that weird? Mm -mm. I got a busy water to the board, y'all. I need to do laundry before I go to work. And I got a lot of laundry to do. So I need to do that before I go to work. And usually Wednesday is a stress-free day at work. It's not too hectic, so. 
Yeah. Let me know what else y'all want to see from us. Me, Jay, and Sergi. Give us some ideas of what y'all want to see. Or give us some ideas if you're in North Carolina, um, some things to do. Because I'm new to North Carolina, so I bet, you know, that I've been here about, what? Uh, not that long, a couple of years, not even a couple of years, but I'm new here. I don't know much about North Carolina and what are some fun things to do y'all? Let us know. I'm ready to go to Charlotte again. Last time I went to Charlotte, I went to, um, I went that was my first time going to Charlotte. No, it wasn't. I went to Charlotte as a kid. But my first time going back to Charlotte as an adult was for Jay's nieces, Macy. Hey, Macy. Love you. Uh, her birthday party. It was about, what, a year, two years ago? Was that birthday party two years ago or a year ago? I think it was a year ago. And we went to Charlotte. And I had a great time. I wish I could have stayed longer. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to Charlotte and hang out and go to the club and see what y'all giving in Charlotte. Y'all the blood keep going out. Them green games. But yeah, like I said, tomorrow I got to do laundry in the morning. I got to go to work. Then I get off work. I need to edit a video. Um, I still need to um, find that car stand for the car. I still haven't found um, a good car stand. So I need to go to my best buy the Target. And see if I can find a better car stand. And... Mm, What else I need to do tomorrow? Um, I went by the car wash today, so we're good on that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want something good to eat, something different. What do y'all suggest? I want something good, something different. Maybe something I haven't even had before. But I want something different to eat tomorrow. I don't necessarily want to cook, but... I want something different. And if y'all didn't know, I'm a good cook. If you didn't know. <clears throat> yeah, y'all. I think I'm looking at some stuff from She Inside. She In. I need to stay off that website. I really do. But I love she in. I love the clothes, the quality, the prices. It's just, how can you not like she in? That a bomb. Mm -hmm. I actually need to do a um, she in try on for y'all for a um, pick out some outfits I'm gonna wear for Atlanta, and let y'all see what I'm gonna give. <sighs> Cause this is a lot of stuff that I hadn't even worn yet that I want to wear. I'm excited to wear. Let me see. There's a piece that I got recently that I'm excited to wear. Uh, I can't find it now. Or oh, it's either on the side that y'all can't see because there's more stuff that y'all really can't see. Like right In the camera, you can't see that. So that stuff there. Then I have a picture up here. Then that stuff there. So there you go. Oh, y'all is jagged up. All right. Then that stuff down here too that y'all can't see. Then these are more t-shirts that I got to print out for y'all.
Uh, let's see what pieces right here that I'm close to that I'm ready to wear. Y'all saw these pants on the She Inside vlog. These, the Simple Dilks, as Sergi called them. I can't wait to wear these with something. I don't know what I'm wearing with them. With top. And these, what are these? Oh, those are just some black leggings. Nothing y'all need to see. Oh, um, shooting some footage. You want to say what's up to the people? What's up, y'all? What's on YouTube? Scoff work. And yeah, y'all. We ain't doing nothing. Scoff work. Another day, another dollar. It's hump day. Yeah, literally, it's hump day. But for y'all, this would be Tuesday's vlog because I didn't shoot anything today until now. So it'll be Tuesday, but it's actually Wednesday morning. Mm. This week flying by. It is. You know, last week went by quick too, I think. Mm. Real quick. <clears throat> what y'all got planned for the weekend? Mm-hmm. What we got for we gotta work on that song, I know that. We gotta finish that song this weekend. And damn uh, I gotta get my eyebrows done this weekend, y'all. Looking a little straggly. And yeah. Oh, you know G O D they replied back to that um I posted that picture that we did up here on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. And they replied back fire. Then I had emailed them about I wanted to be in. Uh, I wanted to work with them. Then they sent me the information about the ambassador program. You have to download this app, this ambassador app, and put in all your social media stuff. Then you earn points. Then they email you back in two days, I guess, with their decision. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, but I did that today. When they um emailed me back on, well, they DM'd me on Instagram back about that picture that mm -hmm. I posted. And it's an ambassador app. Mm. And I went on there, and I think you could redeem the points for like, I guess, like money off your purchase. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back to Riga. So you gotta use the ambassador app for the whole um, yeah, because they. Uh, well, not necessarily that, but they want you to link your accounts um, yeah, to GID them. Shop, yeah. So I guess to see, they want to look at what your social media is giving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you for the but yeah, y'all, hashtag GLD game. Hopefully I have like a promo code for y'all or something soon. Because we're trying to be ambassadors for them. Because, shit, we got a lot of merchandise from them. I got on my Cuban link right now. I don't have on the diamond, um, the t diamond tennis with the, um, gold rock pendant. Y'all seen that? I just got Cuban on tonight. Well, this morning. Who is that? Takashi? Mm, nice. Oh, he got the style, I guess. <laughs> Random. Yeah, did a murder. Mm. I swear this week I'd be, be strong. I'd be strong, strong. Like dispensary strong. Like my eyes, like my eye can tell my eyes are getting Chinese strong. Cause to me, y'all, you really ain't hiding until your eyes feel heavy. To me, my eyes got to feel heavy for me to be just be high. If my eyes don't feel heavy and it feel like I need some toothpicks and to stick in them to um keep them open, <laughs> I'm not high. That's not hot to me. But my eyes are getting there. I feel like I need to stick some 
toothpick fan and keep them up in the air. But yeah, y'all. Uh, what kind of weed y'all be smoking out there? Runts, Platinum, Zaza, Tahoe, Gorilla Glue. Um, shit. Green Crack. I'm trying to just think of all the ones at the top of my head. <laughs> that I had lately. <coughs> Got him. <coughs> and the vapes, y'all. Tell me about if y'all vape. What kind of vapes y'all use? Because it seems like the vape that I got, it ran out quick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Let me go get mine. I'm going to show y'all the level it's at. And I'm going to tell y'all, I just got it Saturday. And I hadn't even been smoking it like that. I've been smoking more weed than I've been vaping. And it's low. Yeah, y'all, look at this. Y'all can, can see that. See how low that is? And I haven't been smoking it like that. Them cartridges just run out too quick, I think. Mm -hmm. They run out. So, what he said this is supposed to be 10 grams, this no, is not 10 grams. Gram. It's a gram. That's why I know why he was saying 10 grams. It says a gram on about. the thing. Mm. And this is what it is, y'all. Zaza. Uh, sativa Superjack, 940 milligrams, one gram cartridge. It says Delta 8, T Delta 8 THC. Then it says directions for use. Take one or two inhalations, holding them in for a few seconds, and then exhale smoothly. Suggested repeat use after one hour if desired. One or two hits <laughs> is not going to do nothing for y'all. I'll tell you that now. Mm -mm. So don't go off the instructions. If you a smoker like me and Sergio, one or two hits is not going to do you. Then talk about it an hour. I take one or two hits and be one another one in one or two seconds. Like what? <laughs> what? Warning prohibited for those under 21 <coughs> years of age. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, y'all. <coughs> Legal age of consumption. Do not operate heavy machinery while using this product. Do not use it pregnant or breastfeeding. <coughs> but yeah, this is it, y'all. Then this is the one that Jay was smoking the other day. The cereal milk. It's the same amount. 940 milligrams Delta HTAC 8. That's it. But yeah, I mean, they cool. If you're not a big smoker like that, they'll be cute for you. They'll work for you. But, yeah. Then, like now, it's stuck. See, I can't even pull it. I don't know if the battery's dead or what. Yeah, I think the battery's there because I can't even pull this at all. Last time you charged it. Oh, it's, it's not even lighting up. Yeah, oh, it's it dead, dead. Oh, it's dead, yeah. It's dead. I hadn't charged it, y'all. What's the point? I mean, there is a point, but I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of, I'm not totally disappointed because it's kind of what I expected, but yeah. I got to charge it up, y'all. And this is it. This is the cartridge. I think I showed y'all before. And this is the base. Then there's a little backwoods thing that you, I think I showed y'all that when I first unwrapped it. You put on there, then just stick it into a USB and you're good to go. Yeah. 
Big Yam. That wave? Yeah. That's the sea. He be working out that little bony body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Wiz Khalifa, y'all. I would love to smoke with him. I'll probably tap out, I'm sure. Because <laughs> them butts, blunts that I be seeing them smoking, oh my God. I'd be like, what the hell? <clears throat> One or two hits, I'd probably be through. No, I can take more than that. But I wouldn't just be able to smoke back to back to back to back with them. Not them huge blunts, no. And y'all, I still got more puffs of this. The snowfall that I was showing y'all. It may be dead too, because I hadn't charged it in a minute either. Mm -mm. She's still hitting y'all. This is only for the smell and the taste, because it smells good and it tastes good, but that's it. If you need nicotine, this is not going to do it. And I don't even think these are even a safe alternative anyway. Just quit if you can. That off. Well, how that looks. Is cricket still a phone service? Mm -hmm. mm. I don't see them often. I think they have one in Macon, Georgia, while my family's from. And I'm pretty much from there too, so yeah, I am from there. That's true. But yeah. I'm finished this cigarette and holla at y'all tomorrow. All right. You know, like always, smash the like button, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already. The music, Nicole DeSanti, Toxic Love, get it off tonight. Fight Yale, Sergi Zaza. We'll holla at y'all later. Bye. Bye.